Hey everybody, this is Mr. V, and this is episode five of topic of unit two, the Apes Review videos. So this is natural disruptions to ecosystems. So one of the things that you're gonna notice is that um, ecosystems are constantly being disrupted. It's not always human's fault. Um, we didn't do everything, but um, we are kind of the main cause now. But one of the things that um, is going on or did go on before us is that uh, ecosystems tend to be disrupted all the time whether that be natural disruptions um, you know we aren't the biggest disruptors every time but we are we do tend to be the biggest ones as of present day and so some of the big events that have occurred um, in the past for natural disruptions are going to be climate change um, there have been sea level changes glacial ice levels have dropped and risen um, and so the way these are typically characterized is by their temporal um, uh, amounts. So whether or not they happen um, often, whether they happen quickly, or whether they happen, um, you know, all the time. So you can have random ones without any given warning, like a tornado or a hurricane um, or volcanoes. So those things tend to be big events, but they're not always uh, very common. Okay, you can have episodic, which is like a certain time period, like ice ages and global warming times. Um, and then you can have periodic, which are the ones that happen in a cycle. Think about like seasonal changes, um, and those those things can happen uh, quite a bit and quite fast. You know, cold fronts, things like that. So um, that's how we kind of describe them: is that by the temporal uh, rate that they happen at. And so, what happens once an ecosystem is disturbed? Well, um, the main thing is that habitats end up changing, and so the uh, species have to respond to that. So sometimes their ranges may change. Their migration, either long or short term, might change. And if it's a big enough disruption and they don't do so well, then you may end up species, with species becoming extinct. So that ends up being kind of the big picture. And this has happened before in really, really large scales. So here we have the mass extinction events that have occurred over the last um, 450, 500 million years. So. There have been many different ones, the Ordovician, the Devonian, the uh, Permian, Triassic, the Jurassic-Jurassic, the Cretaceous, um, which is the most recent dinosaur extinction, and what we think is happening right now, which is the uh, Holocene, which is the sixth mass extinction. Um, most of these were caused by climate change or big events um, in uh, the history of the planet. The most recent one, which some scientists disagree is happening officially, but it is happening on a bigger scale than normal background extinction, um, is the Anthropocene, right, or the uh, Holocene, which is from the last 11, 12,000 years ago up to the present. So now we tend to be kind of the big mass event. So here are some resources you can look to see some of these ecological disturbances and, and mass extinctions. So hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.